welcome back to theCUBE's continuing coverage of AWS reInvent 2021 live from Las Vegas. I'm Lisa Martin. We are doing one of the most important industry events, hybrid events this year with Amazon and its massive ecosystem of partners, some of which are joining me next. We've got two live sets, two remote sets, over 100 guests on the program. We're going to be talking about the next decade in cloud innovation. I'm pleased to welcome back Anthony Lai to the program, the Executive Vice President and General Manager of Public Cloud at NetApp. Anthony, good to see you. Nice to see you again. Nice Thanks to see you in person. I know, it's, it's great, isn't it? And Amaran Cheshar is here, the VP and GM of Spot by NetApp. Amaran, it's great to have you on the program. Welcome. Likewise, thank you. So the acquisition, the Spot acquisition was, was during the pandemic, mid-2020. Amaran, talk to me about that. Why NetApp, how's it going? Give us the lay of the land. I think that's the, it's one of the greatest things that NetApp has done. And I think it's one of the most amazing outcomes we could have as a company. And if you think about it in a, in a first sight, when you look at storage company and compute company, what's the, what's the connection? But the thing is that NetApp is a company that is going through a huge transformation in the cloud. And by doing this acquisition, it's really like signaling where it's going. It's going way beyond, and honestly, I just wanted to be part of it. And what's the customer sentiment been 18 months or so post-acquisition? I think NetApp has done, specifically with, with Anthony leading that acquisition, NetApp has done a phenomenal job of keeping Spot as a business unit, independent business unit, so our customers didn't really feel that something had happened. Like, the only thing we told them is we're, we're going to have more funding. So. <laughs> I'm sure they like that. Anthony, talk to us about NetApp's transformation, transition, spot as part of that, and then of course Cloud Checker, which acquisition was just announced, I believe, yesterday? We closed uh, on actually November 7th. Okay. So it's almost been a month now since we closed, but you know, I've been in NetApp, my gosh, it'll be five years in February, and uh, you know, I think that the company had a real desire to sort of to reimagine itself, and, and to sort of, to embrace the public clouds, and to give its customers, you know, what I think it's done incredibly well is this idea of symmetry. That, that we wanted to build something on Amazon that was as good or maybe a little bit better than on-premise. And, and customers really, I think, appreciated, uh, they appreciate that sort of, that, that desire for us to do those kinds of things. Now, of course, Cloud Checker was my ninth acquisition in four years. Uh, just to sort of, you know, to build on what Amram said, I mean, we, Cloud Checker, we acquired for Spot. And we acquired, what, four companies in the last 12 months for Spot. So we really believe that, that as a company now, we can address all of the potential opportunities, whether it's a legacy application, whether it's a virtual desktop, whether it's a cloud native application, or we just went and announced uh, Ocean for Apache Spark. So Spot now has an optimization and automation solution for Spark on AWS, which we announced, I think, just yesterday. Correct. And I'd like to get both of your perspectives on keeping Spot as a brand. Anthony, we'll start with you, and then Amaram will go to you. You know, Amaram is the founder, and uh, was the CEO of the company, and built a fantastic company. And, uh, you know, we, we, NetApp, I think, has a phenomenal brand, but a brand that's, that's associated with the sort of the traditional IT organization. And, and as you know, in the cloud, the buyers are slightly different. They're sort of application owners, or, or they operate in, in a sort of a construct that most people call cloud ops or DevOps. And, and we felt that Spot represented that new buyer in ways that NetApp didn't and probably couldn't. And so we really liked the idea of having, you know, uh, the sort of the, the structure of the big N supported by you know, a little pink and a little blue, and, uh, and a more sort of cloud-native brand. And that's key, especially uh, the dynamics in the market that we've seen the last 22 months with the rapid changes, the pivot to cloud customers that weren't that digital needing to go in that direction to survive in the very beginning. I right. imagine this was really kind of core to, to that strategy, but also helping both of your customers to survive in, initially and then to be able to thrive and, and identify some of those you know, key areas where they can cut costs and be far more efficient. Look, I think you were, you know, if, you were, if you were born physical, you're now digital. And if you weren't born physical, you were born digital. And uh, you know, digital is, is a very effective medium 
accelerated by the pandemic because as you said, we couldn't really get close to each other. And you know, you just look at the, the innovation around us here at Amazon, it, it's just amazing to watch. And you know, we've just been really, really good partners with Amazon now for many, many years. And uh, we continue to see just, just huge, huge opportunities. Well, Adam Slipsky this morning in his keynote, one of the partners called out, was not that? Yep. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, uh, we'll talk a little bit later on maybe with Yonsi and I, but you know, Amazon now sells our product. They haven't done that with anybody. So ONTAP is now a product that, that Amazon sells. Okay. Amazon supports, Amazon builds, Amazon runs. So you know, we've, we've really, really demonstrated, I think, not just to our customers, a sort of a high rate of innovation and, and an opportunity to sort of accelerate their businesses but we've demonstrated it to Amazon themselves that we can operate like them and we can develop with them at a speed that they are comfortable with that maybe, you know, a few years ago, many people would have doubted that a legacy company could could, could operate this way. Right, we, one of the things we know about Amazon is, is the speed, but also that they're, focus on the customer, is it's laser focused, that whole flywheel of Amazon. Everything that was being announced this morning was exciting to your point, Anthony, but it's also showing how involved the customers and the partners are in the ecosystem and, and that flywheel. Amaron, talk to me from your perspective, what are some of the, uh, uh, from a visionary standpoint, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to going forward with Cloud Checker, but also knowing how deeply connected uh, and integrated NetApp is with a big powerhouse like AWS? Yeah, so a few things about that. I think the first thing is also my take from today, like listening to the keynote and looking at all the new announcements. I think the trend is that deployment to the cloud is becoming easier, but operations is becoming messier. And I think when we look at our category and where we aspire, where we want to be and where we are going, so I think with a cloud checker acquisition, so we're expanding into an area that we haven't been to because there are two categories in cloud cost. There is optimization and there is cost management. What we've done, what we've built, what we've, the business we had is in the optimization space. It's actively reducing and optimizing resources for customers. And there are very few companies in that category, as I can say. But right now we're expanding into that area of cost management so we can meet our customers sooner. And you can see us doing it in multiple areas, not only here, but also if you look at a customer journey in the cloud, it starts with bring workloads to the cloud, deploy them, and then secure them, and then automate them, and then optimize them. Nobody moves to the cloud and optimizes. So we're typically meeting customers at the end of their journey. We're meeting customers when they need an optimization and they have everything already set up. And right now with Ocean for Apache Spark, Ocean continuous delivery, spot security, we're meeting customers sooner in their journey so we can provide a much more holistic solution and platform to customers wherever they are in their migration to the cloud and scaling in the cloud. And with Cloud Checker also taking us to a whole new world of cost management. So, you know, I think we're, we're scaling and ramping and doing all these things and it's so amazing to realize that we haven't unleashed even 1% of what we can do. Really? So there's much more under the covers that we're still waiting for. You know, I think the good news is, is you know, to, to comment more on what you said, our roadmaps are now largely being driven by customers. And that's just so refreshing to know that you've not only solved a problem for a particular customer, but the customer wants you to solve more problems. And that they trust us to, to be that sort of organization that can help them. So, you know, we're full steam ahead, you know. Uh, we, we're going to continue to acquire in areas where we think we can get acceleration. But, you know, our acquisition of Spot was, was very much about, as Amram said, bringing not just a great company into the business, but to, to invest significantly in it. And that's really proven, I think, to be, as Amram said, one of the most, if not the most successful acquisition NetApp has ever done. Well, congratulations, that's Thank fantastic. You. But it also sounds like from that, that customer focus, there's clear, strong alignment with how AWS operates, how it values its customers from NetApp's perspective, and I imagine from Spots as well. You know, if there is one thing I was really proud of during the acquisition, is I got a phone call from a customer. It's the largest uh, food delivery company in uh, South America. 
and they were very worried about this acquisition. And I asked them why, and they told me because your customer service, Spot customer service, is the best customer service I've ever got. And if I'm not going to continue to get this customer service, I need to look how I'm finding another vendor. And they told me that when they want to even tell AWS like which company they can learn from, they're always pointing at Spot. So, and that was a very refreshing moment for me to realize how much also at Spot we care about our customers, but not only as a, as you know, as a gimmick, as something, a customer obsession, as something that we really live. And that was interesting to see that that was a concern by our customers when we got acquired. Well, that's proof in the pudding, because you're right, it's, it's one thing to say, companies can always say, we're customer obsessed, we're customer first, we're customer focused. It's one thing to say it, it's, as a marketing, right uh, term. It's a whole other thing to actually live it and yep. demonstrate it. Yep. And actually have people coming to you saying that we want to model that. I'm curious, Anthony, what did you pull over from that? What has NetApp learned from you know, I, I always tell Amaram that you know, the, the idea was that they would essentially take us over. That uh, you know, we, we, we sort of loved their culture. We loved their people and their process. A and we literally changed a lot of how NetApp operated to operate along the spot model. So, so we really did, as Amram said later on, we, we let them not just sort of exist, but we let them thrive. A and we encouraged them to sort of, to, to point at other areas at NetApp that, that they thought we should change to be more like them. And uh, it, it's, it's raised the bar across everything we do now. And so, you know, we, we now have uh, a lot of the, the spot business processes, a lot of the spot cultures sort of seeping into the whole of the company. It's a very empathetic approach and that's one of the things that we've learned in the last year and a half that's been, is key to leadership, is key to anything is that empathy, but the ability to recognize where there are things within an organization that can be improved and looking at leaders like Spot to go, Let's, let's actually make this really symbiotic and bi-directional. Sure. I, I mean, imagine with, with Cloud Checker, it's going to be the same type of, of influence. Well, you know, as I've always said, and I, I say this to the, to the employees and to the acquisitions that we make, what, what we are acquiring is, is people. Yeah. You know, the logo, the software, even in many ways the customer base is really very much, I think, a function of the people. And we work incredibly hard to retain the people, but, but it, we do so by sort of empowering them and encouraging them to lead. We, we really don't want to sort of have, have the sort of the historical perspective of acquisitions where big company swamps the little company. And I think we've tried very hard to make that, you know, a part of our, of our acquisition strategy. And so Cloud Checker is, very early in the process, but very much we're following those things. Even Amram and his team are learning from them. If they're, they're doing something a little better than Spot is, then that's something we'll pick up from them. And that's just from a, a very open cultural perspective. That's a big change for Neta, but it's also a smart way to go, because you're right, it's, it's a, you're acquiring people. And we often talk about people, process, technology. But it's sometimes, to be honest with you, it's rare that we hear companies talking about the people focus as being, that's critical. It's, it's because of our people that we have successful support, happy, successful customers. So that people focus is table stakes. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's, the, it's the company and, uh, you know, culture is not something you can manufacture. It's something that, that, that happens and it happens, I think, through people. And it's an important thing is if you can establish, you know, uh, an organization with, with, with the right kinds of people. And again, all credit goes to Amram as the founder and CEO of the company. I think you, you, you sort of, demanded a, a kind of person and a kind of culture that, that set you apart from so many other companies. I think the focus on culture was, we, I was very obsessed with it from very early on in the process that even spot investors were very, um, they, they were questioning like, how come that you are so much obsessed with culture so early on? And I think it paid off uh, big time. There was uh, a book I read while being a CEO that really helped me to scale from quarter to quarter. Uh, because I really believe that as a CEO of a startup, every quarter you're basically applying again to your job. Because you're getting a new company every quarter. And 
about people, processes, technology. So at Spot, it was a little bit different. Uh, through the book I read, which is The Hard Thing About Hard Things uh, by Ben Horowitz, it's, uh, it's people, product, revenue. It's PPR. And you need to take care of the people. And if you don't take care of the people, so nothing else matters. Like, it's nothing else just... Right. And if the people and the product are not working well, so the revenue is not going to come. So revenue was always for us as something that is uh, uh, coming, it's trailing after a good product and good people. I so. love that. What a great, honest focus and vision you guys both have. Congratulations on the acquisition, the cloud checker, but also just the cultural alignment that you've done that's really driven by your people and the customers. It's, it's very refreshing to hear that and, and congrats on, on NetApp's uh, continued partnership with Thank AWS. We look forward to having you on again next time. We can see you in person and talk more about customer successes. Thank you very much for hosting us. Uh, my pleasure, guys. Thank you. For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE, the global leader in live tech coverage.